Hi everyone, so today's video we're looking at some more bobsleigh training. Uh, to start with, we're working on a bench press. I tend to do most of my heavy, more compound lifts to start with, or to start the session. In this case, just doing, like I say, a bit of bench, warm up with 60 kilos, then on to 100. And in order to maximize any possible strength gains, I use the slingshot uh, as designed by Mark Bell. Uh, when I hit four sets of six at 140. Um, always good to uh, create a more linear strength curve to, to effectively overload the strength um, and obviously getting stronger as a result. Uh, after the bench session or sets, I moved on to shoulder press, uh, 80 kilos on each side. Um, I tend to use the Alico wrist straps just to give my wrist a little bit more support. Um, again, just working on pressing it overhead, utilizing most of the uh, rear delts, lats, uh, everything that helps with maintaining stability through pushing uh, and also obviously trying to lift a uh, very, very heavy sled. Uh, I think I did four sets of around uh, four to six or even eight reps with this. Uh, nothing too crazy, again, we're just maintaining uh, some strength levels. Um, the most important exercise I tend to find um, for me personally, developing uh, the hit as a brakeman, is I call them cable pull throughs. Um, using cables, nice low handles, so, uh, replicating the, the sort of trying to replicate the height of the sled, and working on getting that first step forward driving off of two feet off of the block and then trying to maintain that position and then pulling through trying to keep right angles and stability through the upper part of the body as much as possible. Weight doesn't have to be especially heavy, it's more designed to get that movement pattern of pulling through the sled after having used the legs to drive off of the block. I tend to do four sets of this, uh, left foot forward, right foot forward, four sets on each side. Uh, again, don't want any imbalances and always you could be working on a side handle. Um, Trying to also get as well knees or uh, shins relatively parallel to the ground. So again, to maximise that amount of time and force application on the block driving off. Um, tend to throw in a few isometric holds at the end just to replicate again pushing and don't want any lateral movement. Final exercise is what I call a cable Cuban press. Keeping the elbows nice and high, retracting the scaps, and then trying to press overhead. Trust me, it's a lot harder than it looks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.